Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Veldog and this is my kitchen where I'll be bringing you affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, let's get cooking. Okay guys, today on the chopping block, we're going to be making one of the best chili in the world. It's an amazing chili recipe. Alright, and I have right here, this is some ground chuck right here. There's two and a half pounds of that. I have some cocoa, regular cocoa, no sugar. I have some beef base. I have some Italian seasoning. I have some cinnamon I, right here. I believe this is um, celery salt. And this is cumin, chili powder, molasses. Over here is some um, red chili flakes. I said red chili flakes. <laughs> red pepper flakes. Okay. It's a um, black restaurant, grounded up uh, black pepper. Some onion powder, granulated. And some sea salt, pink sea salt, Himalaya. All right, let me go over here to the vegetables. I'll get to the other stuff. This is some um, onions, like some garden onions, if you want to call them chives or whatever. They're not really chives, they're green onions. So this is that right here, all right? So we can take that out to the sleeves. We have two celery stalk right here. I have one bell pepper that I'm going to use half that, okay? I have um, an avocado. I have a lime. I have oyster crackers. Let's get over here to the chili. We got two different kinds of chili. This is like regular chili beans. This is the manwich that I'm going to use as the um, sauce base. This right here is pitted um, tomatoes, diced up. And these are right here is um, light kidney beans. I got two cans of those and two cans of the chili beans. All right. And, the, and right here on top, I have some, <laughs> I forgot to tell you that, I'm about to run out with it. I got like four cloves, pretty much it's four and a half cloves of uh, garlic. Fresh garlic, all right. And we're also gonna be using some tomato. I mean, not no tomatoes. We're gonna put some um, sour cream in it and some cheeses. Okay, it's gonna be some cheddar cheese and um, Romano and it's not. Nah, let me go ahead and look for it. <laughs> I'm over here saying things that I ain't got. This is Parmesan. And Romano okay we're gonna use some of that too so I guess I can put that out there and get the cheddar okay guys here's the sour cream right here and here's the cheddar right here so that you know I'm just trying to keep it cold okay that's why it wasn't out here all right so saying that to say this I'll see you guys in a minute all right everybody everybody I am back now I chopped up the uh, celery and all this stuff over here. These are my two stalks of celery. I'm just going to go ahead and put those in there. I like mine to cook with my meat. This is the um, garlic, the four cloves and a half of garlic. Put that in there. I like to incorporate that stuff with my meat so it infuses the meat a little bit better. Here's the half of bell pepper I was talking about. And if you don't believe it, I'm going to show you the other half. That's the other half. <laughs> I just don't like a whole bunch of bad pepper in there. And if you want to throw you some onions in there, you can. Like a, a yellow, a yellow uh, Italian onion. I have that right here. I was going to put it in there. But then again, a lot of people in my family don't eat onions like that. So I have to do, play tricks. Like the onion powder. <laughs> the great onion later. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start with this since I have it already. So we're going to go with two tablespoons of that. Just sprinkle that in there. Just like that. Just like so. That's that one down. We go with the black pepper. This should be a teaspoon of that. So let me put this down. Grab the teaspoon. That's that on that. 
let's get this um, cocoa out since it's over here. I'm going to grab everything for the teaspoon. So we're going to get a teaspoon of cocoa. Make sure I should shake some of it off. Just like so. We're done with that. Salt. Teaspoon of that. I don't use a lot of salt. If you want a little bit more salt, you can. But this is enough for me. You can always add your own salt later. Okay? This is Italian season. We're just going to go with, let's see here. We'll go with a teaspoon. Ain't going to hurt nothing. Teaspoon of um, cinnamon. If you never put cinnamon in your chili, you've been sleeping. Try it. I'm not going to lie to you. So we got a teaspoon of that. It's the cinnamon. Now these pepper flakes right here with me. I'm going to go ahead and get this one, the celery salt. You remember that's why I told you I don't put that much salt in it because the celery salt got a lot of salt in it too. Okay, so we go a half a teaspoon of that. Okay, all that stuff looks like it's going to be more. This right here, I say a quarter teaspoon of the pepper flake, a quarter teaspoon of that. We don't want to burn our tongues, right? We want our mouth on fire. So we don't want to do all of that. That's all the stuff I use so far. Cumin. Love cumin. Cumin can be powerful now. But if you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, don't, don't do it. This is a tablespoon. I'm going with two. Because that one's too big. That's it. Tablespoon of cumin. We're done with black pepper. This is uh, this is chili powder. We're gonna go with like probably four of these. Uh, one, two, three, and four. So don't worry about it, it's going to be like a, a lot of acidity to it because um, trust me when I tell you, I don't like a lot of acidity to my food like that. So that's how that looks so far. This molasses and stuff go in later. Uh, the kidney beans, I did wash those off and let them dry so that you guys know because I don't want all that other stuff in <coughs> the juices that they keep it in. We don't need a lemon, we don't need this, the avocado. So that's pretty much. So we're just gonna take that over there and cook it up. And I'll see you guys over there in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Just wanna start incorporating some of these seasoning stuff for when we in one spot. So very gently, just do it like this, okay? Just like that, you see how it's breaking apart? So I buy one my meat well seasoned incorporated very well see that's all you're doing and today is what they call shout out day so pay close attention to you guys pay close attention you guys okay because I'm doing some shout outs today you now I got about three or four people I do want to shout out so uh, We'll be doing that momentarily here. And let's go ahead and let that cook. Put a lid on this bad boy so we can start um, cooking up. I don't think the lid will to go to this, but it works for me. All right. Let me get my phone. If I can um, shout out a couple of people. Okay, I would like to shout out to uh, Sue Chef. 
and it's not spelled like sous chef so go check her out we got Kendall's corner check her out it will be on there when I get through editing so you guys know exactly what to go look for I have mukbang and thang all right that's baby girl right there go check her out that girl be doing up some things over there it's JB's barbecue and guns shout out go out to your brother that boy be doing up some things over there Keisha Wright go check her out Miss Louisiana go check her out I'm gonna have these people up there on the, on the thing when we get done okay you already know about forever purple if you, if you guys do makeup please go check her out she a beast uh, Silky D delights go check her out all right this boy right here man is a game changer right here uh, it's called all wings everything okay that dude is a beast one more person uh, keeping up with the Joneses Joneses okay so check her out all right now that's all the shout outs I can do today simply Whitney I spelled her name last in the last video I did <laughs> so I'm giving you that voice vocal shout out simple Whitney that's my homegirl too she be doing her thing all right guys uh, that's it for right now and um, I'll get back with you in a minute okay guys I'm back now I just want to stir this gently I don't want to stir it too hard okay I want some chunks in there I know it looks like it's done but it's not trust me when I tell you so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid back on there if you want them like in chunks you want to steam it first all right so I'm put that on there and I'll be back tell you how long that took in a minute hey guys I am back I drained it as much as I could so what we're gonna do is I like to go on with my chili beans put those bad boys in there Like that. The kitten beans in there. And incorporate that. Get you um, two cups of water. Get your diced tomatoes, your pitted diced tomatoes. Kind of like stir that up. This uh, sandwich. Let's go with half a can for now. I gotta taste it because I don't want two tomatoes. Mm. Half a teaspoon of this um, beef broth or the beef paste. Spoon of that molasses. Starting to look good already, yes. Let me taste that. Make sure it tastes good. You know, it still got to cook a little bit. Mm hmm. 
we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the tomato paste, the tomato sauce, which is the sandwich. If you like me, you like to mix, get all that stuff out of there, put the rest of the little water in there. I normally use hot water or something because I don't want my food to cool down too quick. That's about the consistency I wanted in. Because we'll thicken later. Now, I just want to uh, let you guys know, please go check out them people because uh, they show me a lot of love. And um, I'm showing them the love back. We're part of the family. Ray Mac. That's right, Ray Mac. That's my boy, my brother from another mother. So please go check him out. He make everything possible. Down to earth brother right there. I'm playing the forward bro. I told you I will and I'm going to keep on doing it. Alright, we're just going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes. And then uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I am back. It took me about 45 minutes to cook that chicken. I did sprinkle some of this on it. I didn't want to get too carried away from my thumbnail. So I'm really putting some on mine. <laughs> so that you know. Uh, please go out there and support my boy Ray Mac. Kitchen and Grill. That's the boy right there. Um, he's a good dude. Uh, down to earth brother. Please go over there to his channel and check him out. And all the other people that I, I talked about in this video. Um, they are some remarkable people. They make some amazing content and just let them know Veil Dog sent you over there and uh, tell them show some love. So saying that to say this, I'm telling you like my homeboy say, love and not hate. You heard me? So love somebody and hate nobody as Ray Max say. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and become part of the family. Okay? I'll see you guys next time in Veil Dog's Kitchen in a minute.